as you can see, I've gone ahead and painted the head because, again, we've covered this over in the previous project. So I'm trying to get through with this so I can move on to something else. I've got other things I got to do. So uh, anyway, what we're going to do now before we paint the claws is put the feathers on. And I've made three feathers here and painted painted them. And uh, I want to show you in this little video how I go about putting the feathers on. Okay, I had a question yesterday is how do I determine scale? All right, this figure is not in scale. It's close, but not quite. Now, uh, like this figure here, he's way out of scale, but it looks good. I mean, it is a caricature, and this, this one here is sort of a caricature, but not quite. It's just sort of borderline realistic caricature, which is what I like to portray. Now, uh, I think the question was about feathers. All right, well, here's, here's the largest feather of the three that I've done. Now, if we put that feather on there like that, that really looks good because it frames, it frames that head, ties it to the body, and just looks terrific. Okay, now if this was a realistic feather, I carved another one here real quick just to show you the difference. This feather would probably be in scale with that head, and you can see the difference of the two. Now, if I can put that one on there, it looks good, but it it really doesn't appeal to me so much as that large one. So what I do, you know, there's no real written rule that I follow. What I do and how I determine things go with, you know, different parts go with other parts is visual. What's appealing to me? And uh, in a way that sort of separates my work from other people's work. And that's, that's the way I want it. I, uh, you know, I can try to answer a person's question on scale, but it's, it's kind of hard to do because, uh, you know, <laughs> it might, <clears throat> the way I look at something might change with the next carving I do. It just depends on what looks good to me because it's my work and, uh, you know, that's what's important to me is my work, not somebody else's. Anyway. And the same goes for everything on a, on a figure. You know, how the head goes in relationship to the body. Over time, I've been carving for so long, I've got, uh, you know, sort of standards, I guess you could say. They're not written down or anything. But uh, I follow them because I've done it so many times over the years, it just comes natural. Anyway, getting back to the feathers. Okay, here we go. Now we have a three feather composition here. So let's just make that feather and that one. Now I could use that feather, you know. I could put it on there if I wanted to and make a four feather composition and this one once it was painted would fit right in with that. But I'm not going to. Three's going to be plenty. This is this is basically what I want right here. And it will go, like I say, it will go on the back of his head, like that there. Okay, and that's going to be a, be a nice carving. Now, one thing I did do, because he's looking, if you're looking at this, if Judy focuses in on this straight like that, he's looking a little too far over that way to make a good composition. All right, so what I'm going, what I did yesterday was I made a different base. put the uh, name tag on the piece, the name tag will be about right in here somewhere. So I can turn it back around to get his profile, or I mean his look, more in the center of the way the person sees it. I'll work on that once I uh, get everything put together. Because the name tag is going to determine the front of the piece. Where if, if uh, this 
if that was the front of the piece, he'd be looking like that. And uh, it's just, he's just looking too far over that way. Okay, so anyway, getting back to the feathers. All right, here's my, here's the three feathers that I want to put together. Just like that. Okay. And uh, another thing, I like these quills sticking up beyond the back of the head. They probably wouldn't do that normally, but that kind of just creates that much more interest in the piece. Now, to do this, I've shaved these, fe these uh, last two feathers down to where they're thinner than this one here, so I can cut down on the bulk of these three feathers coming together. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is hold them in place, get me some darning yarn here, or whatever. Get them matched up good. And just tie them all together. Just like that. Give me some super glue here. Get this off. Let it lay that down. I want an accident with this glue. Make sure everything's tight, which it is. And put some glue on here. Should pretty well soak through all the way. Give it a squirt of accelerant. Set up and let come on set up. Okay, glue set up. These feathers are lock solid. Alright. Now I want to click this exactly where I want it and it worked out pretty good. You want it right in the center of the back there. And I want my feathers to come down in front. Just like that. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is take my knife and I'm going to cut off the top of this. thread. Just cut off a flat area here. I'm going to go get my uh, nail. Okay, that's cut flat. I went and got me a, this is a five penny galvanized nail. And I've chucked in a drill that's about the same size as that nail, just a little bit larger. Now I'm going to drill a hole right through here. Make sure my nail goes in there, which it does, just like that. Little 
bit of that nail. Yep, not much, but just a little bit. Let me snip that off. I can look in there and see. I don't know if you can see it, but if you look right there, see where I can't, that hump can't of hair right there bounces against that feather. Well, I'm going to uh, shave that off. closer to the head and make for a better composition. Okay, so now we've got that feather done, the nail hole done. Now what I can do is go ahead and put a drop of super glue on that nail shaft and up here on top. Give it a little squirt of accelerant. Lock it in place. Waiting for it to go off, which it just did. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that nail out there. That's just going to be part of the decoration when I paint it. So the next step is to uh, spiff up these feathers just a little bit more and then go over to the paint table to do that. Okay, I'm over here. I'm back with this uh, modeling paste. Now, when Indians put, Indians, Native Americans put their uh, feathers together, they usually put fluffs down around the, I mean, probably, maybe not always, but this just makes them look better. So I'm going to take a lot of this modeling compound and just put it right around the base of these feathers. And this will lock those feathers together even more than they already are. Nothing behind, just up front here. This is just fluff. They put fluff on the base, base of their feathers. If you've looked at a headdress, you can see that. out here on the edge to where it comes. It looks like it goes beyond the edge of the feather like that. And work it around there. Okay. Find me a toothpick. sort of work it to where it looks like fluff.
to me, doing these things just takes wood carving to a whole different level than from what most people do. It really just makes it so much more fun, you know, to do these things, come up with different ways of representing representing something. There, that looks good. Now I'll set this aside to dry. And real quickly, what do I mean by fluff? See, there's some fluff. Here's some fluff around the base of feathers. It's really evident in headdresses and things. Judy says he's just not focusing. Focused? Yes. Yes. It's just the, the fluff is just the down of the hair, down the base of the, there you go. See there? They even put it up on top of their feathers. And we could do that, you know, I've thought about doing that, but uh, it would be kind of hard to get that look. Someday I'll try that. Anyway, this will set her. I'll leave this to set uh, set out and dry now, and uh, it's basically finished. That part of it. And uh, I'll come back and I'll paint this a different color. And uh, it'll look really terrific. And uh, that'll take care of the feathers, to mount the feathers. It's just uh, sticking this into the uh, hole, putting some, well, it's putting some super glue in there, maybe just a little epoxy, and sticking that in the hole and locking it in place. And it'll be solid in there, especially with this rough nail. So that takes care of the feathers. So in the next video, we're going to do the claws, paint the claws, and then we'll be done. Except I'm going to probably put facial paint on the Indian, and Native American, and uh, I'll probably give him some earrings. You know, just a few more little details to make it just look that much more snappy. All right? So until then, I'll talk to you later.